Welcome to the West Coast Beer Cast. I'm your host, Bobby Covina. And I am Professor Bill. And this is the, the West Coast, Coast Beer, Beer Cast. So, Robert, what do we have on the menu today? Today we have Belgian white wheats, one of my favorites, especially when it's hot like this. What was it, 90? It was 99 today, and we are in September in Los Angeles ish. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, great lineup tonight. First, we have the standard, kind of U.S. version of you'll find on tap in many restaurants, and this is Blue Moon. That. All right, up next, choice. another one you'll find at most bars these days is the Shock Top. This started out as a craft. Michelob owns it now. You'll find it in most places, at least where we live. All right, now going to Who Garden. If any of you thought it was Ho Garden? Like I did. It's wrong. Here we go. You ready for this? You ready for this? Who Garden. Garden. Whitaker Key. Mm. I've heard this is one of the more mellow ones. Mellow, very mellow. All right. All right. And then we get into more of the craft kind of uh, specialty Belgian specialty Belgians. Allagash comes to us from Portland, Maine. A little locally known brewery that's now getting more notoriety. And this was actually the, their first beer they brewed. Now they're brewing all kinds. Is that uh, the father son team? Yeah. All right. There you go. And Telegraph up in Santa Barbara. They're famous for their California white or California ale. It's kind of their signature one. And here's their white, Belgian white. And finally, finally, here we are Orchard White. This is our out of the box kind of one. It's uh, flavored with lavender instead of. Coriander. So a little bit of a different. We'll see how that goes. Supposed Most Belgian delicious. whites have two key ingredients: orange peel, coriander. Right. So this one's orange peel, lavender. All right. We'll see. I tend to not like coriander, so I tend to not like any of these. But we'll. Uh, We're gonna convert them tonight. We'll give it a go. Before we start drinking, though, let's take a quick history look at the Belgian white. Wheat beer is a beer brewed with a large proportion of wheat. Belgian white beers are often made with raw, unmalted wheat and flavored with coriander and orange peel. It gets its name due to suspended yeast and wheat proteins which cause the beer to look hazy or white when cold. The taste is only slightly hoppy and very refreshing in summer. This style of beer was revived by Pierre Sellis at Hugarden and has gained recent popularity. A number of American breweries have launched their own varieties of Belgian style whites. The most popular US brands being Blue Moon, brewed by Molson Coles Brewing Company, and Shock Top by Mikado. Belgian whites are traditionally served with a slice of orange to accentuate the flavor of the brew. The beer pairs nicely with lighter fish such as mahi mahi and salads made with citrus based dressing. So when you're in the mood for a thirst quenching beer, reach for a Belgian white. And of course, don't forget the slice of orange. Before we taste the beer, I just have to say that uh, history segment guy is really driving me nuts. So I don't Absolutely. know, like, I know you've hired him because he's a family friend. What yeah. is Weldon's his name? Good friend. I don't okay. know. So viewers, uh, send us an email. Let us know if we can get rid of him. If we might need to get rid of him. A couple Irish uh, voiceover guys announced. Okay. So, all right. What's we start with? We're left to right, as always. So, Blue Moon. This one's five percent, as are pretty much all of them. All of them, yeah. Five point four percent. Kind of cloudy. Doesn't really look white, but yeah, it's definitely cloudy. Wow. We haven't even put orange in yet, and I can already taste. Yeah, orange. orange. It tastes like orange. All it tastes is orange. And a little sweet. Really sweet. Reminds me of a uh, sparkling okay. champagne. Now you gotta try some orange. We're gonna, and by the way, we're gonna taste them all okay. this way. All right. That's taste plenty. them raw and then add some orange. Cause and add orange afterwards. Yeah. Okay. I take it back. It doesn't taste like sparkling champagne. Well, I think all champagne sparkling. It tastes like uh, sparkling cider. The stuff you got on New Year's Day when you were. This is. Eight. Yeah. I mean, I've had you know blue moon water. I like it. Now it tastes like orange juice. Okay. 
it's refreshing. It it's, is. You've never tried a uh, a, a Belgian, Belgian white. white. This is a good one. Yeah. yeah. It's real, and a little on the sweet side, but very mellow. Definitely drinkable, refreshing. Not many beers yeah. I would describe as refreshing. This is refreshing. This is definitely a summer beer. Okay, so now we're moving on to the Shock Top. This one's by Michelob, known for their not good beers. Are we going to get sued for that? No. Okay. 5.2%. Doesn't have much of a nose either. Tastes almost exactly like a blue milk. With less flavor. Hmm. Yeah, definitely inferior to the blue milk. Let's see when you orange it up, though. What All right, orange it up. If I had my choice between Shock Top and Blue Moon, absolutely Blue Moon. Okay. I'm not impressed. Those of you that don't like orange or you think it's kind of the sissy way of doing it, um, it really does enhance the flavor, I think, to add a little bit of orange to it. So I recommend it. I Most always, people like it. I almost won't order a Belgian white if there's no orange. If they say we don't have orange, I'm like, well, then I'll get some milk. I know more than one person that will order their beers without lime or without orange. NFL, NFO, no uh, flipping lime or orange. Those are more the purists. If it should taste like orange, they should brew it to have orange. Okay. Well, all right. Okay, so now we're on to Who Garden. Who Garden. I just want to point this out. You guys can see the color difference. The shock top and the blue moon are just kind of orangish coloring, and the and the uh, Who Garden is very white. It actually looks like a white. It actually looks like a white. Wow, you can smell the coriander. Yeah, it smells spiced. Wow, it actually smells good. It kind of smells like perfume, which I would not want to drink. You know, it it's it tastes like it smells. It does. It really does. Spiced lightly though, not nearly as overwhelming as I would think. Yeah, it's de definitely just... Alright, that's good. Alright, let's see what the orange does. A little bit this. of orange with the Who Garden. Smells kind of the same. Pretty takes good. The yeah, it takes the edge off of that. All right, personally, it's a little too spicy. Just drinking it plain, for me. But, uh... Yeah. Finish tastes like cough syrup. If you take cherry cough syrup and grape grape cough syrup, my two least favorite flavors in the world, mix them together, same finish. No, not happy with that. Compare that to a Stone IPA and just like you know, sometimes I want to punch you right in the face. This is one of those times because there's nothing. I hope something you does. You just totally misled the viewers because this beer does not punch me in the face. I miss episode two with the IPAs, frankly. Okay. Okay, another very white-looking Belgian, Wittekerke. You find this at BevMo in most places. Not really on tap so much, though. No, I've not seen this on tap. Um, looks a lot like the Ho Garden. You see, a lot like the Ho Garden in color. I'm not smelling as much coriander. Not nearly, no. Wow, this is the best one yet, I think. Mellow. Refreshing. I think I've been drinking a, too many IPAs lately because these are all just. This is a know. very polite beer. It just says, "I don't want to offend anybody. Just let me cool you down in the heat or something." You know, it, does. it doesn't talk back to you. It's just. It's like water with a British accent. You could almost drink one of these and then complain when the bill comes and say, "I'm not paying for this because I don't remember drinking it." It's like that. Nice. Um, that really didn't make it's like sense. water, but British. Yes. Right, hello, sir. Right, I'd it's, like to refresh your palate. It's like a, re a, fr a refreshing drink with water with uh, 5% alcohol on it. Yeah. Now, there's no I'm not getting any orange in that. I'll yeah. try that one more time. There, there we that's go. Good. That's good. Okay. All right. So, Whittakirky, so far, I think it's my favorite. Okay. Doesn't jump out and punch me in the face. I think like only, I'm going to do in about only five minutes. Bobby Covina will do that. It smells good. It smells a little different. A bit more like orange. That totally changes the flavor. With wow, that's different. Doesn't it just jump out? Yeah. So wow. if you ever get a, if you ever get Whittakirky, try it 
without the orange than add the orange. It's like that really plain girl in high school that all of a sudden shows up at prom when she's had like five hours at the beauty shop and she mm -hmm. looks you're like, whoa, who is that? Yeah. You add some orange to Whittakirky and... Or like the Drew Barrymore movies, all of them. Okay, so now we're on to the more perhaps exciting Belgian whites. Hopefully, I'm not excited so far. Allagash. Allagash. From Portland, Maine. Hmm. Smells like I'm orange smell armpit. <laughs> I was going to say. Right? Orange armpit. Something funky. Or like that orange flavor, the orange <laughs> B.O. car. Orange car. Smells like, uh, smells like B.O. I think our studio audience is starting to speak out here. Yeah, gotta settle go. them down a little bit. This is the first time we have a uh, studio audience. audience. So thank you guys. Definitely more complex. Yeah, like they, they, there's more hops. I could taste. Like hops. they tried. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's good. I could drink um, an entire uh, whole glass of this and and enjoy it. It's interesting enough. It's, mm, I, I got you nice. That's mm. good. That wasn't in purpose at all. No. Where are my bicycle glasses? Safety yeah. goggles. All right, let's see what the orange smells like. About the same. Don't like it as much. Do not like it of as course, much. Of course, I like it better because I like orange. I squeeze a lot of orange into my Belgian whites. I mean, I'm always asking for extra orange in it. Mm. I, I think it. if they want orange flavor, they should put orange flavor in the beer. You already said that. You can't say. That. I believe it. Okay. Okay. So now we're on to Telegraph, which. Um, this isn't their like signature brew at all, but if you haven't been to Telegraph and you're in Santa Barbara, it's a great, it's right next to Car Vineyard's um, tasting room. It's a fun vibe in there, a lot of great beers, and I've had this before. I liked it, so all right. Doesn't really smell, no nose, unless I imagine it. Now this is the first one that has a bitter edge to me. It's got a little bit of a bitterness. You can taste that orange peel. A little, yeah, more of the, of the peel than the orange, which I like. You get a, a flavor right up front, and then that that orange peel kind of lingers. It really, really lingers. Yeah. This one has a. It's not as polite. It definitely talks to you. Yeah. Right, right. So we got to see what the orange does to this one. I know they're going to tell you like, don't orange it up. Um, That's good for me. Thank you. But don't like it with the orange. It just tastes. This is one I have to say I actually like better without the orange. Thank First you. time ever. Thank you. I agree with you. Not I it. might not have to punch you in the face tonight. Um, tastes like it's like opened the bottle and drank it two months later. Just because well, of the orange. It's rotten right? because of the orange, yeah. Okay. Because well, it, already, it already has the orange peel, then you add orange to it, then it's orange with orange peel. Let's do something we've never done before, a second taste without the orange. Without? All right. Mm. Pour this. I think it's a good. Don't orange it at all, but it's a really good, it's different. It's not your typical Belgian white. No. None of these have grabbed my tongue and said, I have coriander. This None is one you could have your friends over, you barbecue, you put some mahi-mahi on the grill. Good. A nice, you know, fresh green salad with some citrus dressing. And open this up and, and impress them. It will be just like, be wow, really where did you find this? So now we're to our um, slightly out of the box Belgian white. And this one is the Orchard White from the brew, the... Whoa! Lavender. Yeah. Lavender. Crazy lavender. It says a hint of lavender, but lavender is like jumping no. out of you. My friend Jason oh my made gosh. some lavender ice cream one. So he said, lavender ice cream? Um, the guy's a big time foodie and amazing chef. It smells like that ice cream, just crazy lavender. It smells like body shampoo. Not that I use, but it that I've smelled before. I have a friend, Wayne, who uses lavender body wash or mango body wash. He just ruined Wayne's he probably, life right now. He probably smells like this beer. Wayne's got to change his name. No, Here we go. I didn't say which Wayne. Lots of lavender. Lots of lavender. And 
nothing but lavender. If you like lavender, you're going to like this beer. I have to say I would never order this ever. But, you know, if... I kind of like it. There's a little bit of the of the spicedness that I hate about the Belgian Whites. And I've got to say, I would not put any one of these down the drain. None of them reach out and say, ah, I'm spiced, I will ruin your palate. It's good. I like it. I'm interested with the orange. Pleasantly surprised. Okay. Never thought I'd have a lavender beer, but if you're going to do lavender, I could see it being a good fit with, uh, with the Belgian Whites. Oh, it smells like candy in a good way. Mm. Yeah, that improves it for me. Makes it taste more like what I consider just the Belgian white. And I am not the Belgian white expert. And they're still, you know, the Belgian whites to me are very clean, very crisp, very refreshing. And this one just, there's too much jumping out at you. It's like they added or threw the kitchen sink in. I like the lavender. I lose the lavender with the orange, but pretty good. Top three, top two, for sure. Okay. All right. All right. So uh, there we are. We're at the part of the show where pick of the week. Bill's pick, pick of the of week. Pick of the week. Um, definitely between Allagash, no orange, and uh, and the Orchard White, no orange. I'm not sure which which one yet. My pick is good just because I like a straightforward is the Witter Kirky. I think compared to all the other ones, you know, you can get this anywhere and it's especially with the orange, you gotta add the orange. This is refreshing and tasty and clean and very friendly beer. <clears throat> I would get it's friendly, it's polite. If I want something friendly and something polite, I would do uh, something with a friendly polite friend. I would not have a beer. If I want a beer, I want something that's interesting, that's more complex, which is why I'm going with the brewery and with the Orchard White. No orange. That's your pick of the week. That's my pick of the week. We have a split decision. I'm Bobby Covina, signing off. And I'm Professor Bill saying, now that's a, a beer. beer.